The frontline treatment of metastatic surgically unresectable urothelial cancer has relied on a backbone of systemic chemotherapy, typically either cisplatin-based or treatment with carboplatin, with decision-making based upon whether one is eligible for a cisplatin-based regimen. The initial results with chemotherapy yielded survival rates of around one year. But with the addition of immune checkpoint inhibitors, we've seen an improvement in overall survival, suggesting the impact of sequencing from chemotherapy to an immune checkpoint inhibitor. As we've seen with the maintenance of Velumab data, an improvement in overall survival compared to best supportive care, and even second-line pembrolizumab making an impact. But more recently, we're seeing combinations with immune checkpoint inhibitors also showing evidence of activity and clinical benefit. And Fortimab Vetitin with Pembrolizumab is showing an objective response rate that's extraordinarily promising and at this year's ESMO meeting, an improvement in overall survival compared to systemic chemotherapy regimens incorporating platinum. So it really is impressive to see improved clinical outcomes with these combinations, with the potential for an improved toxicity profile as compared to what we've observed with traditional cytotoxic regimens. However, there's still more work that needs to be done studying how much infortimab is it necessary to give. We know that as patients continue on treatment, they do have long-term toxicity impacting their ability to continue, including peripheral neuropathy. So determining the optimal duration of therapy is going to be important so we can try to minimize some of the toxicity and perhaps allow additional subsequent treatment with other agents that have the potential to cause nerve damage. So more work is needed. We need to understand the contribution of each component and how to maximize the benefit of each through combinations and through the need for sequencing. But it really is a new day in the treatment of urothelial cancer as we are seeing these paradigm shift to more targeted strategies with improved clinical activity, but also an improved toxicity profile, allowing us to treat more of our elderly, frail patients who truly deserve an excellent treatment for their metastatic, surgically unresectable urothelial tumors.